All right, one of the coolest things about Tres Hombres is the opening track, Waiting for the Bus, segues right into the immortal Jesus Just Left Chicago. For that song, Billy Gibbons was in an open G tuning. I'm going to play an example now. In standard tuning, it's sort of a way to emulate open G tuning with a figure similar to what you hear on Jesus Just Left Chicago. Because I'm emulating open G, I have to play my G note over here at third fret of the sixth string. Normally in open G, the A string is tuned down a whole step to G. So you can play a G power chord, G5 power chord, just by picking the open fifth, fourth, and third strings. But we have to go. So I'm fretting that third fret of the sixth string while also muting the A string. And I actually play a full G major by getting the B string in there. So I start with that little single note, B flat that's bent slightly. And then I'm going to vibrato my root note G. And then I have this connecting single note riff. I'm walking up from the open low E. bit of palm eating. But you want to make sure it has a lot of ring to it so it sounds really full, balanced against those tight sounding palm muted single notes. So then I'm going to slide up. And this is a little bit of a pain. If you were in open G tuning, you could just bar straight across the fifth fret to get a C5 chord. But because we're not, we have to do it like this. So pinky's on the eighth fret of the low E, and my index finger's barring across the fifth fret. And the, again, the A string's muted. This is a very Keith Richards type sound because Keith did so many songs in open G and used that idea of alternating going up to the fourth chord above. So this is C. That's like F with the C bass. So we went seventh fret of the D, eighth fret, sixth fret, sorry, of the B. Then I played a similar low note riff, back to the first riff, then I went A, A5, chromatically up to C5, and I just played a riff based on G minor pentatonic in third position. So I start bending that fifth fret of the G up a whole step, barring across the top two. So that's six, three, six. And then I'm going to go right into a bend, release, pull off on the G string. And then this. So after the bend, release, pull off, then I'm going to do a pull off. Uh, D string, fifth to third fret, and land on fifth fret of the A string. But I went back to the G string. And then slid down. 